career. Everything you have ever wanted has been attained, but we still haven't reached completion. We still haven't reached the point where we start a new journey. We have one more step to go. And once we get past this hurdle, so this card is going to be that hurdle, you'll be able to begin this new journey That's that you're being divinely guided on. But you have attained. You have attained here. Hi, Taurus. This is your main reading. I did the shuffling of the cards. So if you wanted to see me shuffle and talk to spirits, then that's going to be in the playlist. You can just skip right to it. If you don't want to watch the main reading where we're going to be discussing career, we're going to be discussing your relationships. We're going to be discussing your home life. If if you don't want to see that, then you can just go to the playlist and skip to, you know, all 12 signs or whatever you want to watch. But if you want to see that, that's what we're going to be doing in this reading. Um, it's not specific. This is career. This is relationships. I, I'm going to be reading them throughout together. Um, so I can't just time stamp which, each, which one each one is. So you're going to have to watch the entire reading. But I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, thank you again for supporting my channel. Uh, my name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. All right, cool. So we're doing your main reading, Taurus. And what's crowning you is there's a an imbalance with your intuition, but you're being divinely guided and you're going to heal your past with the assistance of Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is crowning this reading and blessing and hosting this reading today. So it's his spirit or her because archangels they don't really have a gender as in tarot they don't have a gender but the picture is masculine so if i refer to this in a masculine sense i apologize i'm just getting into the reading and i'm not really thinking about it you know after this we are going to be picking 12 cards all the way from aries to pisces with the vintage erotic i have it over in the side so I see that you're being divinely guided and you're starting a new journey in your energy. And the goal of this journey is to get to become the king of pentacles. That's your life path where you have success, where you have wealth, where you have the Midas touch and everything you touch turns to gold. I see that this is what truly motivates you. And you're very like in... In the present, you, you're very, you're very in, like, your root chakra is very enlightened. Your root chakra is your connection to this physical realm. So you're really into the material realm. You're really into what's going on around us. What's happening on earth. You're not in tune with the spiritual realm right now. You're not in, your third eye is completely blocked. Now that doesn't mean that forever it's like this, but for November, this is what I'm seeing. Or anytime that you get this reading, then this is your reading. This isn't really a time frame, but when you get this reading, it's for the month ahead. And it's what you need to know right now. So we have the wish card in your career. Everything you have ever wanted has been attained, but we still haven't reached completion. We still haven't reached the point where we start a new journey. We have one more step to go. And once we get past this hurdle, so this card is going to be that hurdle, you'll be able to begin this new journey. That's that you're being divinely guided on, but you have attained, you have attained here. 
I see in the future, you're in your career, you're looking out, you see a bright future, communication is coming in. I see very strong communication, communication that influences you and influences others. I see that there could be an alliance created in the future and some boundaries, some doors are open. I see doors being opened in your career in the future. And I see you being in a, a very influential space. In your home life, I see that communication is very, very good. I see that everyone's coming up with well thought out plans. I, I do see you looking in the past and you're being very clear. There's no emotion here. There's only truth. There's only truth here in your past and your home life. We only have truth. So this is the Ten of Pentacles. Right here we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is the beginning of a new journey, but one has to end. I mean, it has to end. And right here is where the ending has to be. There's a dis disbalance. There, you're too much. You're too much in the physical realm here. This is the Kabbalistic tree of life, but it's in the reverse. So this is very satanic. This is where we have like Lilith and, and the really dark, dark entities. So this is an ending. But you're refusing to let this end. You, you had this dream that you just don't want to let go of. So you can't complete this, this lesson. This lesson. I mean, we're in the ending here. So far, we're in the endings. I mean, I haven't, I haven't went to this one yet, but this is also an ending. There's two endings. And you're refusing to let this go because they're both in the reverse. You're refusing to let this go. And this is in your, your family life. And Michael's saying that this is blocking you from starting this new beginning. He's like, here, I have a gift. I have a gift for you. You have to let go. You know, death wanted to come out for the, um, which would be the card of Scorpio. And for the um, thumbnail. But I felt like there was something else there. So, so it gave me this. And, and then, so, so death was supposed to be out. Scorpio. You're being divinely guided. There's going to be a brand new beginning here. There's two endings. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. But this is actually a really good card to get into the reverse. You're releasing pain. I see you ultimately in the future releasing pain. You're being divinely guided. You have to let this end. You have to release this pain. Because good things are coming for you. A lot better than whatever it was that had to end down here. But it has to end. If it has to end, it has to end. I mean, it's sad. And you being an earth sign, you hate change. I understand that. But if it has to end, it has to end. Resistance causes pain. Resistance causes pain. There's a lot of toxicity in your career. We have the devil here. There's corruption. Temptation. Abuse. That's very surprising. 
That's very surprising. Yeah, there, there's temptation here. You're going to be given a gift in your career. I f and this is, yeah, they're going to have you with a puppet string. Don't take this gift in your career. Avoid it. You need to avoid this. It looks so good. It looks so good. It looks like you've attained everything. But then the devil comes to tempt you. To tempt you into taking this gift. Don't do it. You have a choice because this is going to be happening presently. You have free will. Archangel Michael is saying that you have free will to avoid this. And let Archangel Michael give you the gift. Wait it out. Be mature. Make head over heart decisions. There's no emotion here in your career. Don't let emotion guide you. Avoid this gift. It's toxic. And this person will have you. If you accept this gift... This person's going to have you. But you can get out of this. You can escape this. You're being forewarned. All right. So relationship. So something suddenly happens here. It, it shakes you to your core. I feel like it's just unavoidable change we have unavoidable change but you know what you're going to have relief there's going to be a relief here it's a relief from struggle it's a time to heal the stars shining What's concealed will then be revealed with the moon right after. But then it's all happiness from there. We're going we're gonna to be starting something new. And this is good. This is good. New is good. I mean, oh, let me. I mean, if you wouldn't have let go of something in the past, then what you're presently, you know, trying to hold on to... I see that, you know, you wouldn't even have it. So there has to be an ending in order for there to be a new beginning. Break free from this toxicity. You're being divinely guided here. Break free from this toxicity. And take time to heal. There's a relief here in your relationship. I mean, things suddenly changed. But it causes you presently to feel relief. And in your home life, there's really no emotion here. I see that things just didn't pan out the way that you had anticipated. But you're going to be letting go. You're going to be releasing that. And then new things are going to be coming in for you. There could be a Pisces or a Cancer. I see illusions here. Yeah, there's illusions here. There's secrets. These are coming out in progressive order. I actually talked about the moon whenever I talked about the star. The star and the moon usually come out together. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's illusion. There's balancing, like it's balanced though. But is this a real dog or is that a mirage? Are we seeing a shadow or a reflection of this dog? Which is which? Which is real? Which is not? Is this a mermaid or is this a real woman just wearing silks? Is she alive? Is she a mermaid or is she dead? Did she drown? Your mind's playing tricks on you. 
You need to sleep on this. You need to take time to examine this. This isn't something to be taken lightly. This is a major arcana card. This is a major life event in your relationship. And I see that all of the answers lie within you already. You just need to sleep on it. You know, in your career, this is really going to trickle down into your relationship. Your partner is taking this in, taking this to heart, whatever toxicity is here. We have some major life events here, quite a few, quite a few. We have first the devil, Capricorn energy. Ruled by Saturn, temptation, greed, sexual perversions. And then we have the tower, which would be number 16, ruled by Mars and fire. I always see it as Aries. It's sudden, unavoidable change. And then we have the star which would be number 17 of 21. We're almost there. There's a relief from struggle, a time to heal. This is Aquarius energy. And then we have the moon. And this is Pisces or Cancer. It really, honestly, they're so close together. It's, I mean, they're two different signs, but they're both water. They're both very sense. There's a lot of similarities here, and it's kind of like this. You know, is this a shadow, or is this the real figure? Is this the mirage? You don't know. Um, so this is the moon. This is number 18 of 21. This is diving into your subconscious mind. This is sleeping on it. The answers lie within. Secrets and lies are coming to the surface. So those are the major arcana cards, and they all came out right like a cross. Yeah. Well... Almost a cross. We have, at the ending of the cross, we have this. Where, you know, things just didn't go right. It, it just didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to pan out. And it caused an, an imbalance. But you're, you're getting relief from that. You know, everything is coming to the surface. You know what comes after the moon? The sun where you have happiness, where you have fulfillment. That's, that's what comes right after this. And then there's not much longer on this journey. After you get happiness, then the world comes, and it's just lasting success, and the cycle's complete. Well, I mean, you have the sun, then judgment. Judgment's in between that. But, you know, we're going to eventually get to 21, the world. We're going to complete this, this cycle. And yeah, Archangel Michael is definitely saying that new things are coming for you. All right, so we're going to take a brief intermission. I'm going to upload these videos, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to be doing the Vintage Erotic Tarot. We're going to be picking um, all the way from Aries to Pisces what your relationship is with all 12 signs. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, um, if you'd like to support this channel, please comment, like, share this video. Thank you again for watching.